Greetings everyone, Al Cox here and so is spring. Time to roll the old mower out of storage and get ready for the mowing season coming. This is in for service, it's a 2005 John Deere 102. This is from their 100 series of lawn tractors. It has a 42 inch side discharge mowing deck. The engine is a 17 horsepower Briggs & Stratton, specially built for John Deere. Wasn't that nice of them. This mower was built at the John Deere plant in Greenville, Tennessee, USA. Original price was around 1200 bucks, brand new. This unit runs on good old fashioned gasoline with a 2.1 gallon capacity. There are still a number of these 102 mowers and the mowers in the John Deere 100 series out there rolling around still cutting the grass with the yellow paint peeling off the deck. This one needs some love before the mowing season starts. I added some fuel to it and started it earlier. It runs, but you can tell it could use some encouragement to bring it back to a reliable mower again for the season. I suspect the air filter may be a little dirty and probably the fuel filter needs changing. Fresh spark plug wouldn't hurt anything and a good oil change. That'll make this mower ready to tackle the grass this upcoming mowing season. You can expect to spend around 50 bucks to do this maintenance. It takes about 20 to 30 minutes. I will give you the OEM part numbers as I do them here, and I'll put the numbers in the description of this video. I think I'll start with inspecting the air filter and changing that out. To open this compartment, the lid will come open to reveal your air filter element. There are two parts to this filter. There's a pre-filter that sits down in there first, and then there's your main filter element that installs within the retainer ring on your filter housing setup. I'll blow out the debris on this and then install the new filter. Our pre-filter is installed soft side down. Our main air filter will slide back into its retainer there. The tabs on the bottom of this outer cover will slide back into the slot onto the air filter mounting cover on the engine. Pull your latch over and lock your cover back in place and that's our new air filter installed. Now I will inspect and install a new spark plug. Spark plugs will last and last now really and they've become rather pricey these days like everything else. If the engine's running rough and I don't know when it was changed the last time, I'll go ahead and change it out. It's good insurance for the season. This one has seen some use certainly, so I will install a new one. This fuel filter certainly needs to go. These can constrict your fuel flow if you don't change them because they will reach a point where they're unable to filter out any more gas and they'll get stopped up. A good sign is when it starts to turn a medium to dark color that it's about time to go. Pay attention to how your fuel filter goes in. Most will have an arrow that shows you the direction of the fuel flow. You will want to make sure that arrow points in the direction of the engine. If you put it in backwards, it will be either ineffective or you will screw up your fuel flow. Next, I'm going to drain the oil. This has that very cool Wheezy Oil Drain extension I like. If you look, you can see this cap has a little twist trick to it. Then let it drain out thoroughly. Then replace the cap by putting it back on the end of the oil drain, push in, and turn counterclockwise to reinstall the cap. Fortunately for me, Napa had the pins oil on sale cheaper than their own brand, so I picked up two quarts of 10W30 to use here. 
the engine will hold up to 1.5 quarts. That is what I have added here almost exactly according to my dipstick. Just keep your eye on the oil throughout the season. I recommend that you check your oil every time before you mow and add it as your stick tells you to. And I'll tell you folks, I've known many that's blown up their lawnmower engines because they either A, didn't change their oil, or B, just let it flat run out. And if all you ever do is add oil, it will tend to get thin and any debris in the oil could collect in the engine also and tear that up. So change your oil every year and keep it full. Very important if you want to keep your buddy John around. Now I'm going to take some compressed air and thoroughly blow out the engine compartment underneath the deck. Get rid of some dust and old grass hiding all over this lawnmower so it can breathe again. Okay, I have inspected the deck and the blades. All of that looks good for now. So as long as our maintenance works here, I think it's ready to mow grass with no problems. I would, however, at the end of the season, pull this deck and clean it thoroughly and inspect the pulleys, grease and lubricate any points that require that, and give the blades a sharpen and possibly patch up some peeling paint that could lead to some rust out. This machine is in good general shape and the seat is not cracked, the tires are still good, so it's a machine you can ride with pride. Speaking of, let's see if our encouragement has had any effect on our buddy John. To cold start these units you have to have the clutch and brake pedal mashed in. 